Ooh, welcome back to more No Man's Sky. Hi Duffy. Hi Izzy. Welcome to an actual weekend stream that I'm having on the actual weekend. I've got got one of my headphone things off so I can hear the kids if they uh, if they set fire to something. I've got my coffee. <sighs> and I've got you guys. How's it going? Uh, there are drops should be active if you have not been picking up your twitch drops for the new uh, no man's sky uh, 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 Expansion uh, Today is another drop day, so you should be able to link your twitch account To whatever account you use to play no man's sky and get those drops um, Yeah So enjoy that I already got my drops for the day um I watched a streamer that I enjoyed, but not like enough to follow. So, but yeah. Um, now, of course, this is when chat stops. When I actually come on the the camera, is when chat's like, "I'm not gonna talk anymore." All right, so let's play a video game. Since that's the case, since that's the case, let's play a video game. Skippy, tell them how bi- I hope that's busy, because what the word is- what you spelled was bussy, and that's something entirely different, Aiden. Uh, yes. Duffy's been extremely busy in No Man's Sky. He's going- uh, going for that living ship. Going for that living ship. But here we go. Uh, look at that, right on time. I'm going to stream for about two hours because I still have to make dinner and take the kids back to their moms today. <laughs> You're not a moron, Duffy. You're not a moron. No, everybody makes spelling mistakes. You're fine. It's not a big deal. I'm going to wait for the game to load. To make sure. Oh, no, it looks like we're... What? Uh, that is not... Uh, that is not correct. Let's go back to the, so you remember how I said it was going to corrupt my save file? Let's go and see if we can actually restore this, uh, more as a game in the whole, not just the living ship. Ah, I see literally unplayable, right? Yeah. Duffy's been, been going ham on no man's sky. Absolutely ham. All right, we want, we, we, how is it? Well, apparently it's locked now. Which is why the rest of me isn't me. So, uh, what if I can just do, go to save two, there we go. Save two worked. Yes, I'd like to apply the changes, okay. Uh, so let's, um, where are we on the expedition? We need to get to Rendezvous 1. Uh, I think we're in the right, uh, system, but maybe not. Let's go, uh, actually, you know what? Let's go over to the teleporter. You guys remember how I used to jetpack up to the balcony with the big old teleporter? That one up there? And it would, it would glitch a little before I went in? Well, now they've added this teleporter. Oh, 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 I know what's happening. Okay, hold on. Uh, I forgot to quit something out. Do, 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 do. Sorry, guys, slight technical difficulty. There we go. That should fix that. Okay. So if we go here, we, sh we might be able to find a base. Uh, no, all. Oh. We might be able to find a base. That's my base one. I guess not. Uh, so we need to, we need to warp, which means we're going to have to get some more warp. Uh, how many, I don't know how many warp, um, jumps I have left in my, that's my pulse engine. Wait. That should go there. 
Um, and then warp drive is here. Hyperdrive. Uh, yeah, I'm only at five percent charged, so I need to go and uh, and make some more some more warp uh, some more warpy warpers. What can this, do I have enough to do? Now I can make the housing. Can I make two? I can. I can. I cannot make animator. I need more chromatic metal. Didn't I bring in an ass load of chromatic metal? I only have two left? Didn't I bring in a bunch from my save? Hold on. Hold on. Because I thought I brought in a bunch of chromatic metal. No, I took out all of my cargo. So, okay. Let's go get some more copper then, I guess. Sure. Oh, guys, this is a ship that we... This is one of the reward ship. This is the reward ship for this expedition. Aiden, I hope you're seeing this. Duffy Fluffy. But this is the reward ship for this expedition. Apparently, it's a lot of fun to pilot. Look at that. Look at that. All right, let's get into our ship. Where'd I park? Where'd I park? Where did I park? Where's my ship? My ship is over there, okay. Is the expedition difficult? I mean, it's not especially, oh, it's over there. Not especially difficult? But then I play this game so often, it's not super easy, and it does take time. Um, this is going to be my second stream in the expedition. But we need to find a planet with copper, so that I can... Uh... Oh, this one will this one'll do. We'll just land and find a copper thing, and then we will... Do some refining. Oh dear. Here, Duffy, I'll show you in a second how that works. So if you hit escape, I don't I don't know what it is on the um, on the PlayStation, but you have these phases you have to complete all five phases and to, to complete it and each one gives you a reward you start off like flat game again with pretty much nothing even if you use your current save you're allowed to bring some materials in but not a ton and uh and then you have to complete all of the little side missions uh all the way throughout the the um all the way throughout the expedition. So, there's a lot to do, but by the time you're done with the expedition, if you continue that save as your main save, you have all the stuff. Also, you get expedition exclusive rewards at the end, like that ship, and uh, like a couple of other things. So, it takes a while, um, but so far I haven't come on upon anything that's difficult, uh, but some things may get tedious. They may take a little while. Uh, first run. All right, right, right. Copper, copper, copper. All right. You want to scan? Copper deposit. There we go. Looks like this one's already been uh, mined out. I'm trying so hard not to, uh, not to scan right now, but I'm gonna end up scanning everything. I know it. I ended up back in the first system because I followed Space Pickle to do something. I don't remember why. But I did. That's not the mining beam. Scan that. Get some scanning in. Thermal protection falling. That doesn't sound right at all. All right, let's switch, oh, switch over to the terrain manipulator. Get as much copper as we can out of this uh, re a thing. Zeb, uh, yeah, stream time that you can make easily. It's weird, it's weird. I know, it's not my usual. 
Well, apparently a lot of things are changing in my life lately, so this this is just this is just another thing. <laughs> I'm me actually getting back to weekend streams, you know. It says advanced mining laser required. That's not true. It's a terrain modifier. I'm using a terrain modifier. A terrain manipulator. This is going to give me a lot of copper, you guys. You haven't missed much. You just got a corrupted... What's a corrupted ship? What does that mean? I don't I'm not familiar with that. Do you mean like a sentinel ship? Laser fire the world, yes, Treos. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, but they're they're all so called corrupted ships. That's not something I've heard of, Duffy, at all. That's interesting. I hear you got a thing going on on Wednesday the 28th. Is that right, Duffy? Oh, weapon charge depleted. Silicate powder. All right, I'm planning to be there. And I'm gonna end up being the ride for uh, your mom and for your brother and sister to get there. So that'll be fun. That'll be fun times. I cannot wait to watch Monkey roll his eyes about having to go to a school event. It's so good. So good. Also, I don't know if you know this, Duffy, but if you make the circle, like, you know how you could change the circle, uh, the width, the size of your terrain modifier? If you make it smaller, you get more of the resource out of the, re out of the, the pile of resource. That, oh, bu no, there's no bugs in this game. That animal is not 100% bugging out with my terrain modifications at all. That animal is fine. That is a normal behavior for an animal to have. Uh, nothing is wrong here. Please move along. I am going to get so much copper. I'm already at... Hold on. I'm already at... Where's my copper? Here. 631 copper out of this one deposit. It takes a while. It requires patience and several charging up of your terrain modifier, uh, like that. But it works. Oh, that takes me down. To, I only recharged up to twenty-five percent. Nice. I must be running out of silicate powder. Let's get more silicate powder then. <laughs> Let's actually recharge it all the way using ferrite dust. Your face is running out of silicate powder. Bam. Uh, 
I wonder, I wonder if we'll summon Mike. Here, let's do this and see if we summon Mike. So far, no good. So far, the Bearkini has failed us at summoning Mike. Doggone it. Maybe Mike's working. On a Sunday, it likely walking 20k steps. Oh, that's true. That's true. <sighs> mm. Today's coffee is particularly good. Mike! Currently, yes! Hi, Mike! The Bearkini worked, everybody. It absolutely worked. That is, that is my story, and I am sticking to it. Hi, Mike! I, I don't care if it's more likely that Zeb direct message Mike and, you know, but... Oh, we should probably charge that hazard protection, huh? Yep, definitely not a DM from Zeb. <laughs> Noise. The Bearkini, its summoning power is confirmed. Some people do not have the patience to do this. I, um, apparently do. Am I going to get every last drop of copper out of here? You bet your ass. Every last drop. Apparently I'm going to also vibrate while doing it. Seb says to mine at the slowest rate to get the most resources because bug free. That's right. No bugs in this game. Space Pickle didn't have his whole, nearly have his whole save get corrupted because of a bug. That didn't happen at all. Duffy says, why do you need so much copper? copper? Because I need, um, I need, so copper refines into um, chromatic metal. And I need chromatic metal to make my warp fuel. And uh, the expedition has me warping, but my warp drive is, has no upgrades on it yet, so it is super uh, inefficient and uses up a lot of fuel. So I need to have more fuel. Also, these animals are making it really hard to have a straight face while I say this game has no bugs. Mike says, oh yeah, I do this once and then set up an auto farm. Yeah, nice. Guys, I'm trying to modify terrain here. Maybe, maybe don't. Why not one of the higher tier metals that gives more chromatic? Because I'm in the first system at the very start of the expedition. I've only warped one system out and then accidentally got myself using the space uh, anomaly back to the first system. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the expedition, Mike. Were those felines? I mean... Probably not. Oh, hey, that one is, though. Alpha kosh diet partially digested meat. So that one may actually be attacking the other ones. Six-legged lizard cats. I mean, it happens. 
Uh, but according to Mosier, there's not enough diversity in any of the fauna on any of the planets. So don't listen to Mosier is the lesson what I'm, is that you should take away from this. All right. Oh, no, already. All right, we'll do five squats. We'll do five squats. For Duffy. Five squats for Duffy. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo. Here we go. Five squats for Duffy. One. Oh, two. Three. Four. And five squats for Duffy. Thank you for keeping me moving, Duffy. Ugh. Victory squats. Mike says, yeah, the seasons would have been dope if it wouldn't have burnt out, uh, if I wouldn't have burnt out on hardcore. Yeah. Yeah, I don't do hardcore because I don't hate myself. I'm, I'm here for a laid back time. I'm not here for a super difficult time. All right. Also, I need to... Hello? All right, thank you. All right, let's go back to the ship. And then we need to go back to, uh, actually we can just put our, uh, put our refiner down here, assuming I remembered to actually keep it on me this time. I did, yes. There's the portable refiner. Notice me, Senpai! Oh, scene, sorry guys. Sorry, guys. There you go. There you go. We're going right back to something that is super, super uh, interesting and not incredibly boring at all. And that is refining copper. This is going to take five minutes. Okay. We can scan some stuff probably in the meantime. That'd be fun. I may have already scanned all this stuff. All those green green animal paw prints means I scanned those those species already. Oh, there's one. If I can't watch bugs in game, I'd be forced to find the bugs on your face. Oh no! My face is bug free. I showered. I showered. How dare. How dare, Zab. Jeez. You think I've got most of... Uh, let's actually upload our discoveries for get ourselves some nanites. Not a lot, but some. Certainly not enough to bring in our, uh, our stuff from the main save. Twenty-five percent done. Okay. Sir Zeb never fails to find bugs. That's true. But can you do moonwalk? <laughs> oh, it's a cape. With more stuff to scan. Aha! It's not, it's not a very big cave. Oh, maybe it goes this way. Your face is stabilizing, computer. Give me enough tequila, I could probably pull it off temporarily. Now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. No, thank you. Oh, nope, end of the cave. Cave has an ending. Let's go see how our refining is going. Oh, we need some dehydrate. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I 
I want to get myself some dihydrogen in. Scare away all the animals. That's right. That's what a skippy does. Your thermal protection is falling. How rude. But also, the hydrogen plant. Nope, that's just a regular plant. That looked like one of those ones that boost your, um, that boost your jetpack, but it's not. Space pickle, your thermals are fine. That sounds like personal information to me, but I'm glad to hear it. 76% done, woo! Need all the... Sir, sir? Sir, you are glitching, sir. I'm gonna need you to pull over, the pull the vehicle over. You are obviously drunk. Sir. Bug free indeed, Zab. I'm glad we agree on this. <laughs> Oxygen from jerk face plants. Oh, look at that. It's almost going to take it might take all of the all of the carbon Let's see how it goes! <sighs> and done. No, it's not done. But it thinks it's done. What the hell? Oh, it, it's done because of this, not because it ran out of fuel. Or not because it ran out of copper, it ran out of fuel. Got it. Alright, we'll do this, and then I'll pick all the copper back up as well. Or the carbon back up as well. So now we're good. Now we can make... Ooh, we got some crystal fragments. And... Let's, uh, let's make some more. Uh, let's make a couple of antimatters. That's not what I wanted to do. <sighs> D. There we go. Build two. Build two. Put those in the warp drive. And now, but now we have the materials to make more later, which is good. Space Pickle says, "I just started the expedition over on my newer save." Okay, well, I'm, I got my fingers and toes crossed. You don't get bugged out on this one. If you want to join in on me, Space Pickle, or really anybody else in the expedition, you can. I'm about to be flying through space. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Oh my lord. I have never liked this interface. There we go. Here we go in hyperspace. Mike says, so you are flying through space and find yourself in a pickle? I do not, no, but Space Pickle does constantly. Constantly. All right, we need the Expedition route. Or the, oh no, we need to go one more, but before, whoa. Before we do that, let's go to the space station and see if we have enough money to upgrade our storage. Because, oh, I can't fly for shit. Because storage, uh, does not uh, come through from your main save if you use your main save to, to enter the expedition. Maybe what you need, Skipford. Zeb says, maybe what you need, Skipford, is No Man's Sky plus Dyson Sphere game. No, 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 no. No, I'd like to, I'd like to interface with the outside world at least once every couple of months. And that kind of a game seems like it would not facilitate that whatsoever. E 
<laughs> Mike says, "Ew outside." Says the man who's walking. Yeah, let's upgrade this exosuit. How much is it? It doesn't tell me. Why? Why won't you tell me how much it is? Okay. Well, that happened. And apparently, I had enough, more than enough money. So, you outside plus people. That's fair. I could definitely agree with that. Oh, by the way, in my main save, I want to find a solar ship with this front end on it. But I, I want it to be like gray, dark gray or gray and purple. But I want this, I want this sort of spidery front end on it uh, because it looks very like 1920s Roadster a lot of the time. So. I may be doing some ship hunting. Uh, get my fleet better. Uh, I, why did I come over here? I don't need to buy anything. Or sell anything. I could sell the Corvax casing, but I don't need the money yet. Alright, what's... We gotta go one more jump. One more jump. And then we'll hit the uh, we'll hit the rendezvous, as it were. Right here, Toyabe Nine. Let's go! First rendezvous. Oh yeah. I don't know. Actually, you know, I don't. Do you get anything for doing the optional stuff? In, because this expedition has some optional stuff. I want to know. If, I wonder if you get anything for it. What? Why did that disappear? Uh, hello. Edition. Rendezvous one. Please and thank you. There it is. Warm speed. Sense of pride and accomplishment. That might be it. That might be it, Mike. So how's the how's the new setup working, Space Pickle? Is it smooth like butter? You said your thermals were fine, but how's the how's the, the, the new setup behaving? Is it naughty? <laughs> Smooth as heck, except when I alt-tab a lot? I mean, that just might be a Windows problem. Also, uh, maybe don't alt-tab a lot, especially if it's a game. Sure, or a No Man's Sky. Oh, that's definitely a No Man's Sky problem. <laughs> that is definitely... Wait, are you not on a dual monitor setup? I thought you had a dual monitor setup. Also, why... Am I... I don't want to talk to this trader, but whatever. They do a poor deal. They cannot hide just how keen they are to do a deal. Oh, Mike says five jumping jacks. I don't need anything here. So let's uh we'll bet we'll do that and we'll do some jumping jacks for Mike and I expect Space Pickle to follow shortly. Like like Space Pickle is wont to do. Also I hit my head on the on the uh, fans the ceiling fan string. So here we go. Yep, there it is. There it is. Five more jumping jacks for Space Pickle. Don't call me shortly. I, I didn't. Anywho, ten jumping jacks. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There you guys go. Your jumping jacks. I hope you like them. Because uh, I didn't. No, just kidding. All right. That's the wrong ear. Some of us still have. Izzy what? Izzy has redeemed five squats. So five squats it is. For Izzy. 
One, two, three, they're popping, four, and five. Five squats for Izzy. Will Space Pickle follow that up is the question. I'm afraid to sit down. Nah, okay. <laughs> and Space Pickle redeemed five jumping jacks. Not squats though, just jumping jacks. Not 100 squats, no Mike. <laughs> Trejo says, go ahead, sit, get comfortable. So five jumping jacks for Space Pickle, okay. Okay, you guys. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. There you go, Space Pickle. I hope you enjoy. Uh. Oh, good. Are we set? I'm a fear did. I'm a little bit of fear did. I'm not going to lie. All right. Back to the game. All right. Back to the. And now. Oh, no, Mike. <laughs> Why did. This one says rendezvous one, storage, and more. So I'm going to guess the rendezvous point is actually here. And there's a save beacon right nearby too. Perfect. Oh, look at this. Couple of bases right here. But wait, there's more. Later. That's fine. All right. Is it in the water? Oh no, it's over there. 748U, that's fine. I should have just parked over there. Woo, loose. Deepest ocean, that's right, two feet. Take that. Another Corvax casing. I don't remember these smoking. But these are definitely, this one's definitely letting off some smoke here. Yeah, I do not recall all of this smoke. Yay, the first rendezvous point. And phase one complete. Nice. So let's go back in here. Let's get our reward for hitting the first rendezvous. Oh, 1,200 nanites. Not enough to bring in my ship, though. That's fine. Uh, exosuit upgrades, apparently. That's cool. Let's uh, solidify that inventory a little bit. Warp cells. Yes, warp cells. Yes, the warp cells. What starship out of range? Fine. Uh, all right. So now we get to get the reward for phase one. Remembrance poster plans, interface poster plans, and starborn poster plans. Mike says, "I think inventory and storage is the most important thing to rush in this game." I agree. All right, so let's 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 look at the let's look at the 
Uh, document the first rendezvous world. You get a companion egg, 900 Quicksilver, and inventory slot times three. But I don't know if Quicksilver returns to your main save or not. But what is what is the actual objective? Complete planetary research by discovering flora, fauna, and minerals on the rendezvous planet Hunslow. Each tier of research corresponds to a specific rendezvous world. Instantly return. Okay. But um, document the local environment with the analysis visor. Okay. What do, what do I actually need, though? Like, what's the next? Oh, that's right. They changed the thing now. So H. There we go. Uh, do I just need to, like, scan stuff? Apparently, I only need to scan three things. That bird's having some difficulties. There's number three. Oh, we did it. That was easy. If it's temporary, just spend it within the season. Right, except that I have literally every Quicksilver item unlocked. So. Of course, and so I don't know. If, because I'm using my main save and I entered the expedition, I don't know if that Quicksilver comes back out with me. It, it, it seems like it should. In my humble opinion. Also, I'd like to send some of this stuff back with through with me as well so we'll see we'll see um so let's get our reward for that uh and let's put these inventory slots here up in tech and now let's oops, and now let's go to uh phase two which we've got one of already and i think yeah, we got one in phase three, nothing in phase four or five. So now we need to witness the Atlas. Visit an Atlas station. Oh. Oh, that's the, that's the little bit delayed. Got it. Do I, do I have any, um, do I have any uh, navigation data? I do not, okay. So I need to go and just get down to the ground and summon my ship. Um, Space Wheel says, I think Quicksilver is independent of saves. It is not generally, no. Uh, saves, it, it's, it's been very... Um, it is n Traditionally, it has not been independent of saves. Like, each save has its own Quicksilver record. The items that you purchase with Quicksilver are independent of saves. So once you spend it, that's available to everyone on every save you have. But the actual Quicksilver number, not so much. Let's, uh, so we need, Skippy. Um, oh, I have to go to the Space Anomaly to learn more about the Atlas. Okay. Boom. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I actually really like my new haircut. I know I've had the haircut for like three weeks now, two or three weeks, but I'm still really loving having it. Um, like I'm actually like doing my hair in the morning or when I have a shower. So it's, uh, which is for me, uh, 
not something I've been able to keep up with ever, to be honest. Uh, I don't want to modify my companion egg. What I want to do is talk to Nada. That's what I want to do. Hello, Nada. Proceed as you will, Traveler Entity. We will aid you. Others will aid you also. Even if you seek the Crimson Liar. Ask about the Crimson Liar. Many worship the Crimson Liar, the Atlas, but Nada knows where it dwells. Nada chooses not to consider the things Nada fears to be true. But if Traveler Entity wishes to seek it, Nada will help. Nada wishes you to be safe. The interface will be marked on your map. Take care, Traveler. Thank you, Nada. You're freaking awesome. Here we go. Back out of this bird. Oh, but you know what I haven't done yet in this system? Oops, it's the other way, Skippy. No, that, no, it's still, there we go. No, you're still not taking me to where I want to go, but whatever. Oh, there we go, okay. I'm gonna go uh, and purchase another exosuit upgrade. Let me get my inventory up to a spot to where I can safely ignore it. Before I go traveling to the Atlas system. of interest detected. Unit thief. Examine cargo manifest. No thank you. The one nice thing about these solar sail ships is that they use very little uh, fuel for the pulse drive. Extremely efficient pulse drive. Space pickles in space! Nice. Alright, so let's go get, let's go expand our inventories. And. and now I want to upgrade. Tech. 15,000. Okay. I'm done. All right, let's get into the galaxy map. Look at that. That is the path to the Atlas Station. No, I'm trying to... Oh my god. Don't like this interface. Hyperdrive has no fuel. I jumped twice and that used everything? You've got to be kidding me. Sixteen percent is not enough. Okay. There you go. 
pulse drive or warp drive not so not so efficient we've got quite a few jumps for this one so we may burn through that all of that chromatic metal that we made we'll see but at least at each stop I'll be able to increase my inventory Also, I'm sure that there might be other um, expedition goals that I should be doing in here. But, eh, grow your base. Decorate your boat. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. That means we have to go all the way back to where the base is. Spaceship is hangry. Indeed, Izzy. Spaceship is very hangry when it comes to warping. Very, very hangry. Let's do another tech one. We're at 30,000. Yeah, that's fine. And to space! station. That's where I'm going. <sighs> oh, no. Well, I guess we're shoosting. Actually, you know what? No, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to shoot. Oh God! Where's the friggin'? Fine, we're shooting. Fine, we'll shoot. Gotcha. Oh, I'm shooting the shield to the freighter. Got him. Am I going to get that message to come out? Yep. I do not want your freighter, but I will take your chromatic metal.
teleport me. Swarp. Captain Cock. Poi, blah, 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 battle, blah, 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 blah. Okay. The alien barks a loud battle cry as I approach. Celebrating our victory, I hope. They gesture towards the control panel of their freighter as if to suggest I take command. Let's inspect the freighter. It's A class, which is nice, but it's ugly as sin. I'm not, I'm not interested in the freighter though. But I will take payment. So, what are you gonna give me? A cargo bulkhead, which would be great if I had a freighter. Oh, and gold. I'll take gold. Gold is nice. Where did... There. I would have rather had chromatic metal, but I think I could turn gold into chromatic metal? So... So let's hit the... space station that we couldn't find while in the midst of battle. And uh, upgrade the uh, upgrade the, my inventory. Mike says I think there is a process. Your face is a process. Damn, nailed it. Process for what, Mike? Okay, you take one part gold, one part silver, and one part of any of the chromatic metals. I see, and it makes five times the normal value. Got it. Um, we did tech, we did, I did another line of tech, so let's do this one for regular, which was 35K. And then let's head over to that Atlas system. Well, and I've only got the I've only got the portable refiner, so I can't do multiple inputs at the moment. I don't want to deal with pirates. I just dealt with pirates. I don't want to deal with pirates again. So we're gonna hostile warp signatures means I cannot warp out, but I also cannot target. Oh, this is a multiplayer issue. Okay, I think I'm good to go now. Yep, I'm good to go now. Atlas Station. Almost there. But I thought so certain other elements besides copper could also be directly refined into, into more uh, chromatic metal. And yeah, there's the space station. Oh lord, what is happening? Asteroid fields are spawning in and out? That's weird. That's not a bug though. You do pure ferrite plus copper into extra chromatic metal. Okay. I think also the the uh, the um, the the stuff you get from the green and purple and the 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 um, the colored metals other than copper like the um, indium and the the other ones also go into chromatic metal, but I can't remember the other two names right now. All right, yeah, let's do another one of these. 50, no, 35k, just, yeah, we'll do that. Absolutely. Cadmium, Emerald, and Indium, that's right. Those, I think, also directly refine into chromatic metal. 
Two times, three times, and four times versus copper. Right, right. Cool. But, but, if they are, um, they're enhanced versions, they do not. Let's see if I have enough fuel to make it to the last, on the last step. Nope, hyperdrive has no fuel. Wonderful. Can I make more fuel? I can. Warp. Here we go. Oh God, oh God, no, everything is fine. I love warping directly into an asteroid field. It's my most favorite thing to do ever. Well, there's the Atlas station. Let's see what it's like. Locate the interface within its crimson geometry. Have they made it extra creepifying? They have made it a little extra creepifying. Activated takes just one per refined stud too. Oh. Oh yeah, no, they've upped the creep factor a little bit here. I don't remember those lightning thingies being there before. Oh, and I'm not the only one here. Give me a word. Why won't you give me a word? For step... How dare. Is that Space Pickle? Nope, that's Sonic... That's Sonic 3DX's... Spaceship. No words. Oh, this is... Yep, extra creepifying. Yay, warp cells. Object in you. Wow! I have to wait my turn. Really? You're just gonna shove me out of the way? Well, there's a line, you guys. There's a line at the Atlas station. I stand before the interface, a mere fragment of the Atlas's unknowable hole. I feel my eyes begin to swim as the red light penetrates my skull. I feel the crimson tearing at me, a scream wrought in purest red. Stronger than and ever stronger, my vision fading, subsumed into the hole. I lose where I end and the atlas begins. The walls begin to collapse. Resist. I will not surrender. I fight to hold on to what is left of my mind. Then, at the very edge of my sight, a flicker of purple. Oh, no! I know what that is. The entire vision collapses. As it fades, I hear a calling, a shriek on the red wind. I feel it with my, in my mind. A memory that is mine and not mine. Oh, okay. I have, now I can make the memory of ocean. What the hell? Thanks, Atlas. Thanks, thanks a lot, Atlas. No, not memory of OSHA. That'd be weird. None of this is weird, though. Huh. Oh. Okay. Well, this place is a little strange. And Mike redeemed five jumping jacks. Okay, uh... What does this one say? Why is it not triggering? None of these are triggering. There it goes. If you see this, you're already too far gone. Legalize Gecknip! 
Hello from Chile. That's great. That's amazing. Where did... Uh... Where'd the portal go? All right, let's uh, let's do that. <laughs> let's do the five jumping jacks for Mike. <laughs> this game has no bugs. No bugs. All right, jumping jacks for Mike. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Enjoy that jump. Those jumping jacks, there, Mr. Mike. That's the wrong, I did it again. All right. Collect reward. Memory of Ocean. I already got that, I think. Nice. Warp hyper core times two. Supreme hyperdrive upgrade, that's nice. Definitely use that. Um, oh, what? Oh, you want me to, okay, hold on. Reality grains create the memory of ocean. Okay. My first base, pickle bones, perfect. Couldn't, no notes. But also, let's, Like, I'm getting more just for scanning these than I get from, uh, than I have been spending on expanding my, uh, backpack. Expanding my storage. Which is nice. But also some notes. <laughs> um, like, where did the portal go? And why would someone dig this out? I mean, I have to assume that it disappeared because someone dug this out. All right, now I need to find my ship. Which doesn't seem to be here. Like, what? Oh, there it is. Uh, oh, I need silic. Wait, so to build this thing, I need more silicate potter. I need to get this tritium from my ship, and I need to get salt from a water planet. Oops, wait, what about, what, hold on. Silicate powder is easy, though. Maybe that's why that place was dug out. So now I should have, so if I want to go build this, yeah, now I have enough silicate powder. Can I? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Let's uh, scan this. And then scan this cactuar. Nope, can't scan the cactuar. Can I scan the cactuar now? Nope. Wait, unidentified plants. How dare? How dare? Oh, now I can scan the cactuar. And I could scan that hazardous floor before I destroy it. All right. How far away is my ship? Oh, it's not that far. But I do see that guy.
Yeah, I see other people have been getting their silicate silicate dust as well. Viking, terponk, terponk, yig, yig, yig. The stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. Vision begins to take shape. I see two large aliens locked in combat. Eventually, one triumphs, leaving their victim to bleed to death. The last of their strength, the vanquished alien gestures towards me. Accept the knowledge. The name Viking floats in my vision, an echo of the strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. So, Viking, word for Viking. Where am I going? Where was the ship? There's the ship. What? 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 How dare. Life support power low. That doesn't seem right. Oh, ho, ho. Look at this. I'm in a different place in, in time and things and stuff. Let's get some treasure. Scenario, iteration deleted, boundary separation failure likely, vessel 16 emptied, cause, sentinel intervention, deliberate transfer, analysis, fresh iteration generated, anomaly containment prepared, broadcast, traveler anomaly detected, anomaly is compliant, position log, system integrity scan initialized. I like that they added the purple stuff into the, um, into the Atlas interaction. Knowing what the purple stuff is, I'm very happy that um, that that's added in there to sort of uh, set the set the stage for stuff that goes on later. Die hydrogen jelly. Starship shield module. Hell yes. Speaking of which, didn't I get another upgrade? Let's put in the starship shield. Oh wait, no, let's move this to here and move this to here. There we go. And I also have this, this hyperdrive module, which means I should move this to here until I have to figure out how I'm gonna fit cadmium drives and all that other shit in here and pay for pay for ship upgrade or um, that upgrades. Suspicious packet, scatter blaster module interesting do I have a scatter blaster I do not uh, so we'll sell that right that goes into exosuit there's the suspicious packet paddle core that'll refine into nanites nice all right um yeah that seems oh this should go over into the starship uh, there was something else that I wanted to set. Oh, this should also go over into the starship. Okay. Um, cool. I'd look for a different ship. Honestly, I usually make a jump ship that has all the drives better on fuel than my usual fighter. Yeah, but this is this is just an expedition. I'm just gonna return to my main save when this is done. Or exit out of the expedition back into my main save, and I don't want this ship anyway. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. And you know these kind of resources are fun to gather, so it's not a big deal for me. Um, need salt, so that means I need to find an ocean planet. What have we got? What have we got? What other? Oh, oh. Let's go there. Let's see what's, what kind of planet this is. Can I have some planet info, please? There we go. Frostbound. Not what I'm looking for. Oh, Jesus. I'll take the tree. Oh. Maybe you could. There you go. Good, good job. All right. You know what? Actually, let's hit the space station do the inventory thing and then we'll have a, probably a better view of the available planets. Fair Skippy, not trying to backseat, just speaking your mind. Yeah, no worries, Mike, no worries. I'm not mad. I 
I definitely feel too far gone. Like that uh, thing's dead. Let's do the inventory, and then I'm going to take a quick break to refill my coffee. Get up, and you guys can get up and stretch your legs. Oh, navigation tab. Let's do another one of these. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take a quick break. No cane yet, so Skippy isn't angry. Yeah, I'm not shaking my cane. Uh, so let me take a quick break. I'll be right back. Uh, enjoy these clips uh, while I'm going to refill my coffee. Maybe if my stream deck would work. When and where and how and who, Shiloh, do <laughs> the previous owner said they said it was extremely compatible with Linux, just super, super compatible, which is great. Um, so I'm going to test a lot of it on there first before I roll, before I do the move to Linux. So, yeah, just super. So, I'm super. Thanks for asking. Um, uh, but it did leave us very shocked. One witness was heard to exclaim. Claim holy sheep. <sighs> Anywho, looks like I've got infinite ammo. Hey! rude you're rude what's your name again <laughs> what's my name bitch oh god oh god reload already with their pathing that's a word i used in a sentence excuse me it's like a straight line listen short bursts means he would pay attention to the fact he's pulling the wow What's your, can, can I manually reload? What is that? Well, that's, L, that's L1. That's, I have zero idea if that'll work, but I wanna see what happens. Try up on the D-pad. That's taunt. That's an emote. Yeah, no, I don't wanna do that right now. <laughs> I'm doing the robot! Also, I'm a robot. Okay, well that door is mystical and uh, I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Uh, because I'm not, uh, it's not mine. I want a mystical door. And uh, you can't, you can't stop me. I'm gonna go meet up <laughs> That was great! There he is. No, nope, that's a trope guardian. That that worked. Oh Jesus! I got ran over by my son that day. Sir, do you have genitalia? If Shaw's right, activating the array. Where's the trail? Oh, it's that way. I'm going the wrong way. Oh no! I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Oh hi guys. Oh no! They killed me right away. Hi. Oh, hey, look, I got a grenade left. Oh, guys, guys, you joined the party. Oh, Lord, why? 
I was confident and then I died. Sir, could I interest you in the word of the Lord? You're not blocked. <laughs> okay, look. Be able to get through here. Yay! Ignite the bitch! There we go! Furnace is on! Yes! It's alive! Really? Why do we do this to ourselves? Why, why, did, why do they do this to us with the names? Why? 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 Then a land, a land, a land, a land, a land, then a land, a land, a land, a land, a land, then a land, a land, a land, a land. Hi guys, I have returned. Have some fresh coffee. I'm ready to do more expeditioning. Owning. Uh, so we need, we need uh, some salt. Uh, it turns out we're not salty enough. I wonder, would it be silly to see if they, if one of the traders here is actually selling salt? Would that be silly? Offer to trade. Cobalt, ferrite, dust, silver, party. Okay, not this guy. Okay. Let's try this other one over here. And then we can, we can check the terminal after this. to trade ooh cop this guy has copper how fucking dare you Aronium. this guy has some good stuff here wiring looms nice not what any of it that I need but it's it's all good stuff hi sir can we can we maybe trade you can also make it if you refine chlorine all right I'll keep my eye out for chlorine as well uh, fairy dust, cobalt, lemium, pyrite, gold, and rusted metal, and ammonia. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Offer to trade. Okay. It's worth a shot. I don't think I have any any uh, any um, chlorine. Yeah, I don't have any chlorine. I'm also gonna sell my wiring looms because that's why I brought them in, is to sell them. Uh, so let's do that. Sell, uh, oh, I'd sell the Haddle Core. Um, we're gonna sell the meaty chunks. We're going to sell the wiring looms, uh, the Corvax casings. The cargo bulkhead. Yeah, that works. Uh, Treo says, I bought the building blocks of life just so that I could sell the... Oh, my God. Nicely done, Treos. Nicely done. Ammonia, but yeah, ammonia was not the thing that I could refine. I need chlorine. All right, so we're gonna have to actually find a water planet, or planet with with oceans. This is a barren planet, so unlikely. Oh lord. Oh lord. 
rocky planet, mm, cactus flesh does not tell me that it's going to have water on it. Atlas, it, well, this is the, didn't we, I think we went to this one. It's another rocky planet. You know what? Let's go to discoveries. This system, this looks like, oh, that's frostbound. Ashen planet. Rocky planet, rocky planet, barren planet. Gamma intense. So probably the gamma intense one. Nuts up. It's going to be the one we're looking for. Wait, what was what was that? Oh, add to wonders. No. So we need to find nuts up instead of rage. We don't want rage. We want nuts up. Nuts up rage. <laughs> right? It doesn't make any sense. All right, I'm going to guess it's on the other side of this planet. the big one that we were flying past. There it is. It's Rage. Huh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Nuts up. There we go. We found nuts up. Let's see if we can find some water. For salt! Discovered by Jarl. Treyos, how's your day going? Mike, how's your day going? Space Pickle, how's your day? Izzy, I mean Space Pickle, how's your day going? <laughs> Broodly, oh. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? It doesn't make any sense. Mike says, day is going. Supposed to be reading, but currently playing with dog and watching Skippy. Nice. Treo says, day is going well and is sure to get better, as it is D&D &D night. That does sound like it'll get better. Let's see if we can find any water on this planet. There are clouds, so that's a thing. I mean, there's a bunch of green here. Because it is uh, radioactive, I guess. But let's, let's see if we find any water. K says that your ship looks like a satellite. Well, thank you, I think. Oh, uh, when the wings were open. Yeah, yep. They're, those are very similar to, to, to solar panels, except uh, they're called solar sails. So this is this is a actually a um, like a um, a planet with weird stuff on it. It's like not a it's not a normal planet. Where it's got those hexagonal things on it. Space Bill says, "What's the best way to find a new multi-tool cheat?" I would guess um, one of the multi-tools available on the Atlanta Atlanta Danalanium planets, the corrupted Sentinel planets. Oh, there's a uh, there's a communication station. That's not water. I'm looking for water. Water. Or I guess you could you could farm. Oh, that's a that's interesting. You could farm nanites. Also, space pickle to bring through your. The one from your primary save if you entered in via your save. It's not looking good for this planet having some water. So let's go back to, to the atmosphere or back out into orbit and see if we can find um, some place that looks like it'll have water from orbit. And Mosier wants five squats. Hi, Mosier. This game is your favorite, Mosier. But let's do five squats for Mosier. 
Welcome, Mosier. Welcome. Let's do some squats for Mosier. All right. Oh, chair's in the wrong spot. So was it squats or jumping jacks? It is squats. Okay, five squats for Mosier. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five squats for Mosier. There you go, Mosier. Enjoy those squats. Hair's cut, squats squatted. That's right, Mosier. I got a smooth haircut like weeks ago. But, oh, there's an ace face in the camera. Hi, ace face. All right, keeping one ear open for kiddos like ace face. Guys, I'm not seeing any significant bodies of water from orbit here. This is, I have, I has, I can has concern. I has a heckin' concern. Because without water, I don't know how I'm gonna get salt. Time to go again. Children summon me. All right, Mosier. Oh no. Five jumping jacks for Mosier. All right. Let's do five jumping jacks. Oh, we never left the scene. <laughs> I'm a big dummy. All right. All right. My children, not just some random children. Yeah, you know what? I don't believe that. I think it's random children from off the street. Five jumping jacks for Mosier. One, two, three, four, and five jumping jacks for Mosier. Enjoy those random children from off the street, Mosier. I think I haven't been putting the scene back so much because I'm terrified of what's gonna happen. President's Day is tomorrow, Mosier. I'm terrified of what's gonna happen as soon as I put it back. What's gonna get renewed? Let's see if we can find some place on the planet with a trade terminal. That might be more likely to give me salt. This might be a futile search, but I'm going to try. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, there, there we go. That is something. I don't know. Oh, it's a... Yeah, it's a, a station. Nuts up. 78B7. There's a, there's a multi-tool. I don't want that one, but there's a multi-tool. Highest radiation level, take those nanites. Encrypted navigation data, take that. There's a trade terminal. There's a stuck NPC. Do we have anything else in here that I can get treasure out of? Doesn't look like it, what's over here? Oh, this is a trade dude, okay. Let's see what we can get out of this trade terminal. Cobalt, there's amino, solar metal, pure ferrite, platinum, silver. Oh! Okay. Let's go see what is available outside in like the minerals and stuff. Also, there's treasure stuff out here, so. Get my 
myself another navigation data. Viking dagger, nice. Might need that. Nanites. They need to clean their stuff up. This has been trashed. I don't know who trashed this, but they need to. I need to. I'd like to talk to a supervisor, please. This has been damaged. You maybe need to fix your shit. I need. I'd like. Hey, talk to supervisor. Viking word for interloper. Oh, that's too. That's the Viking word for Karen. Let's see. All right. So, I know what's up there? Nothing. Absolutely nothing is up here. That's great. Is a sentinel scanning that? Is that what that is? All right, so no, let's go see what some of these minerals are made out of. That's sodium nitrate, but I don't have, that's not salt, obviously. Advanced mining laser required. What about this? Ferrite dust and dihydrogen. Ferrite dust, chromatic metal. Pure ferrite and dihydrogen. Interesting. Liquid, just ferrite dust. All right, interesting. It's got a liquid center, but it's spelled wrong. Dihydrogen. Sodium, but not salt. Because salt requires water. Really? Where's this animal? There's this animal. Dead yet? How? Jeez. Why would you even? Oh, that's... Okay. Another one? Maybe stop trying to kill me. What? I had this... Oh, no? It definitely said unknown something or other. Over here. There it is. Unidentified mineral. But I can't scan it? There we go. Fairy dust. Okay. Oh, that's that's a scannable one. Oh my lord. The worst. Sell all of these feline. Okay. So no salt. We're not getting salt here. That's what I'm. That's what I'm getting from all of this. No salt. Space Pickle, did you get to this part before the corruption happened? I was on the main save when I had the problem. Oh, gotcha. But did you get to this point where you're looking for the salt to build the dreams thing, the dreams of ocean? Or memory of ocean, whatever the hell. Yeah, create the Alice's memory of ocean. Salt, zero out of 33. I just hit phase one rendezvous. Oh, okay. Got it. 
grow my base. You know, if I go back to where my base is, I can actually probably find more. But um, I'm not sure I want to. Well, you know what? If I use this space anomaly, I can just return to the space anomaly here so that I don't lose progress. So let's do that. Let's summon the space anomaly into the same system where there's an Atlas uh, satellite. That can't be bad. I guess I'm just always uh, used to you being so far ahead of me, Space Pickle. In my bug atlas. Yeah, it was in every system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see what happens when I fly up there instead of teleporting up there. I'm interested to see. Oh, the same thing as always. It takes a it takes a second to load it. Or a split second, rather. So we're gonna go back to my base. Warp to low gravity base. Oh, those fans are going. All right, there's low gravity base on hats because that's that's where I like to keep my bases on hats. Um, just use this because why not? All right, um, he wants us to decorate, right? Grow your base, windows, construct angled window. Okay, I don't have any glass, so that's not happening. I guess we go back to looking for uh, water. We could go to an ice planet and get the stuff we need for glass, that's for sure. Alright, what's the, what planet is this? You could you could give me a little bit more info about the planet though, game? Oh, that one looks like it's got water. Let's go to that base. Okay, okay. Examine cargo manifest. No, no, nothing I need. We're going to take away Omega is where we're going. What could possibly go wrong? Food Gamma. Maybe we'll find some... Uh, I'm pretty sure there's an ice planet in this system. So we can go and get um, Frost Crystal to make glass from. To upgrade our base. Make it prettier. Unless, like, the reward for this gives us that stuff. Which is possible. I'm not even sure at this point it's worth it to try to keep up with the with the mod that I put on to reduce these. 
But maybe. I'll see what I can do. Oh, look at that ocean. Look at that. We're getting salt, everybody. We are absolutely going to get our salt. Check out the base before we go diving. His bases are neat. Ooh, there's a there's storage. There's some storage. Here's some more storage. Cool, cool. Another exit. Teleporters, solar panels, nice batteries, nice. Noise, noise. And there's the there's the landing pad. Oh! How do you get up there? Maybe you don't. Okay. Alright, let's go. Oh, I've been here. Uh, yeah, I've been, I must have been here before. Alright, let's go and get some salt. Salt and oxygen. Oh, that was it. That was that was it. That was all I needed. Let's go back into that base. And make the stuff that we need to make. All right. Memory of Ocean. We did it. Awaken. The memory of ocean. Return to space to proceed. Okay, but also well, I got to do that anyway to go and find. Um, yeah, to go and find. Um, oh, that's how you get up to the second floor. And then there's a ladder up to the third floor. Cab, hello, gluten frog. You're drinking pickle juice, nice. Not space pickle juice, that would be weird. Would it? I don't know, I'm I'm uninformed on these things. Alright, let's go back out into space and attune this memory of ocean or whatever we need to do. Awaken, I'm sorry. Awaken this memory of ocean. Look at all these planets just all in a line. That, that, that's fine, right? That's fine. Begin the ritual with E. Oh, that's creepy, but okay. Reveal memory. Oh, all right, pulse drive it is. Atlas address integrity. Rare deep space object. Oh, child of Helios. Make contact with the spawn of memory of ocean. Open the communicator by pressing X. Subroutine traveler. Memory status fragmented. Atlas diagnostic. Boundary failure event imminent. Beginning log readout. What? Gzzt. Absorb the memory. Oh, it's getting bigger. A wave of calm washes over me as the memory takes hold. This serene giant broadcasts its song, an analog transmission of pure emotion. As the music swallows my ship, I feel free, released from all constraints, all restrictions. An unbounded infinity of possibilities spreads out before me. It is beautiful, blinding, it's terrifying. The song fades away and I am returned to the comfort of metal and light, the reality of my starship and my exosuit. 
Hey, we did it. Performed the work of the Atlas? That I'm not I don't know about that. That doesn't seem right. Well, at least let's get our reward. That is pretty. I'm not eating it. Space or Kev. Memory of conquest. Oh boy. That bunch of navigation data. Ooh, a Starship Shield module, which I don't have room for in my Starship tech. I don't think. Ah, uh, yeah, I do have I do have room. Barely. There we go. Now we have now we're very good shields. Very very good shields. Alright, uh, next is to grow your base. Uh Yes, but we need for that we're gonna need to go to a frost planet which what cargo scan F you guys All right that one I is this one a frost planet sub-zero planet yeah frost crystal let's oh there's a base let's go to the base daggy hello I'm not shoosting it Kev it's it's nice maybe it's an interface of the Atlas so maybe it's not nice We are approaching time, just so you guys know. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna cut it right around 5 p.m. Eastern time, uh, so that I can make dinner for the kiddo does and myself, as as Kev would say, not Kev, as Zeb would say. Should have ate it. Thanks, Mike. You were at brunch. That's not my fault. Kev, that's not my fault. Uh-oh, and Space Pickle joined on. Space Pickle, how long has it been that I haven't noticed? Oh, this is a this is an interesting base. It's very fuchsia. Magenta. It's very magenta. I don't like what seems to be drawn into the ground there a little bit. So that's bad. Oh yeah. What is hitting? That space pickle trying to land on me. That's what that is. Yup. Where now how the hell do I get out? Oh, there's no way out. That's... I have to go out... Okay, I have to go out the big old staircase. Okay. Hi, Space Pickle. I see you. Mosier missed the ladders. He's gonna be mad. Alright, let's find that. Or let's just... You know what? I'm just gonna come over here do this. Bye Space Pickle. Where'd, where'd Space Pickle go? Alright. <laughs> no cloak. You think it's an us problem? Are you wearing a cloak? I didn't, I didn't see if you were, because I'm not wearing a cloak. You are, okay. I don't know that it's an us problem. It's never worked. Let's see if we can find some uh, frost glass, some whatever glass. Oh, oh, hello. Wait, have I been to this planet already? Apparently I have. What the hell is the salvage container? Subterranean relic. Subterranean relic. Listen, all I want is some freaking frost glass. Oh, there's space pickle. Why are you shooting wildlife?
Scanning, not shooting. Okay. Oh, hello. I'm shooting, though. Because that is a dangerous plant. Alright, where is it? Oh, there's some more of them. Yep. Um, but what if I said, oh, frost wart. There we go. I need to gather like all of it forever. 1.9 million credits now. You think you could stop scanning? I'm at 5 million? And the scanning never stops. If the scanning were to stop, uh, I don't can't stop, won't stop. So I don't know what would happen. Go for 2.1 bill. I mean, that's the main saves. Here we go. Hazmat gauntlet required. How am I supposed to make glass? Does that mean I have to go up to the space anomaly to go get the plans for a hazmat gauntlet? Hold on. No, I can make it. And I have the stuff to make it. Yes. Yes! Silicon. I could process silicon. Or, now I have... Now, I have the hazmat gauntlet. So I can just get the frost crystal. And there is plenty of frost crystal here. Harvest all of it. But do you have the hazmat mats? I don't know. Treos, you tell me. You tell me. What are we up to for Frost Crystal? 388. Keep going. Oh no, Treos! Five squats! How dare you! No, you've got squat. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay. Five squats. One, two, three, four, and five. There you go. It's five squats for Treos. Thank you for keeping me moving, Treos. I appreciate it. Izzy, I don't appreciate that though. I don't appreciate Izzy. Izzy, I don't appreciate Izzy. Five more squats. Okay. <laughs> Five more squats for Izzy. Ermagerd. All right. One, two, three, four, and five squats for Izzy. There you go, Izzy. Perfectly timed my ass, Treos. <laughs> Also, my ass might be perfectly timed. That is a thing. So. <laughs> Are you too easy? <sighs> Alright. Let's get more frost wart. My dishwasher just played a tune at me. I think it's done. Oh my god, there is so much frost wart here. Space Pickle, do you want some of this frost Space Pickle, do you want some of this frost wart? Because there is a lot here. Yes, please. Alright, I'll just finish gathering it all. And then I'll, I'll split it with you. Oh my god, there's so much. There's still more. 
There's still more. Oh my lord. It's like the frost warp. Are they just regrowing? I may have just missed those, but also there's more. Over there's more over here. New guide unlocked, feeding and taming creatures. Okay. Alright. Nope, nope. Didn't get that one. I think I got all of them. I think I... Oh. Take that sodium too. I think I got all of it. All right, let's head back to Space Pickle, who is not in the direction of my ship. Where the hell did you go? Oh. Oh, it'll still let me scan it. Excellent. There we go. Space Pickle, where did you go, man? Digging. Oh, so diggy dig hole? Is that what I'm hearing? Wait, is this unidentified? No. Okay. Did someone say dig? Yes, Space Pickle said dig. You dig it. Nice. Every single hazardous plant that I can eradicate is a win. Every single one. Space Pickle has engaged corrupted sentinels. What are you doing? in this ridiculous mess. Hi. Alright, let's find a frost crystal. We want to move and stack half. And then we want to oops. Quick transfer this to space pickle. There you go, sir. Enjoy. Now I'm going to summon my ship. And save in, uh, save the game. Maybe. See if I can land it on Space Pickle like he's always doing to me. No such luck. And there we go. And that's where we're going to call it for today. Uh, you've been watching on twitch.tv slash skipperj where I stream every Tuesday and Thursday around 9 p.m. Eastern and one day on the weekend. Oh, we should switch back because Space Pickle is doing things. Well, he was doing... Yeah, there, there he goes. Okay. Uh, one we, I have thought of going longer, but today that doesn't work out, Kev. Uh, because I have to make the kids dinner and I have to uh, I have to take them back to their moms <laughs> One week later those videos go live on YouTube at youtube.com slash skip for J Where they're grouped by game in a playlist in order chronologically so you can watch the playthrough from beginning to end um, 
If you'd like to support me, of course, you can send Amazon some money here by subbing to the channel here and getting some emotes. Or, if you would rather send me more money directly, you can uh, buy me a coffee at ko-fi.com slash skipforj. Or you can check out my writery goodness at davidmcrampton.com. And that's got that comes in dead, uh, dead tree and electronic formats, or you can check out my webcomic over at fofcomic.com. Uh, if you'd like to, to hang out, check out our Discord. Uh, uh, it's called the Sanctuary. Uh, Treos, you all have a good one. You hear you too? You too, Treos? Uh, Zeb says, bye bye. Bye bye now, Zeb. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, guys, have a fantastic Sunday. I'm not going to bother raiding anybody or anything like that, but remember. Even when Space Pickles got the jumpies, you're awesome, and you've got this.